Hi again. So I didn't want to do an update till I had something actually useful to say because I've been waiting for the whole septic slash sewer situation to sort itself out. So um, apparently the county said no to my septic system work that I needed to get done and wouldn't let them cover the nice big hole in my yard. So considering how unresponsive the septic company had been, I reached out to one of those internet services that helps you hunt down people that'll do the work for you, right? All the housework and stuff. You can find somebody to paint or dig holes in your yard or something like that. So uh, given the problems that I've been having, getting people to actually show up, I'm not surprised that at least one of them didn't show up that today. One of them said that they wanted to move to tomorrow, which kudos to them for actually telling me that they weren't going to show up and wanted to come tomorrow because of the thunderstorms, which passed in like five minutes, quite honestly, so it wasn't that bad. Um, but the septic company actually called me back, so they said, oh yeah, uh, we've been talking with the county and they said, sure, you can cover it, but we'll check on it in six months again and you'll most likely have to go over to sewer which is not a problem at all because I think I was aiming for that to have more space in the back garden to actually do proper gardening anyway. So at least now I have the better part of the year to save up to do that because apparently it costs a heart attack inducing like 7k to hook up to the county sewer system. So I guess I'm not buying anything else this year which is fine if the world continues being on lockdown I won't have anywhere to spend money anyway. So now that that updates out of the way, um, the little uh, work plants that I had, the fern isn't hanging out with them anymore because whatever bugs they were that I was spraying for, uh, they came back. I think it's some sort of horrific scale or something. It's gross. It crunches when I push on it. I've been going through with my nail and pushing on it to crack them all. Uh, I put it outside. It just got a shower in the rain. I might spray it down with poison again. I don't know. I think it's supposed to stay above freezing for at least the next week. And I think that our last frost date is around Mother's Day anyway. So maybe it'll just live outside for the next six months and occasionally get a spray down. Um, I don't know if you can better see the little baby cactuses now. Oops. Maybe because of the light, they don't show up quite well, but maybe you can see the lithops better though. Um, the pings are doing really well. They're eating up all those nasty fungus gnats. So I should recover those little baby cactuses. I've, I've been working on the instructions that I got for growing the lithops. I followed the same instructions for spreading the cactuses and it's been working out well. So maybe everything that's kind of juicy and succulenty should follow the same instructions. Uh, this week also I moved the Saracenia and Venus flytraps outside. I got some big like kitchen multi-purpose buckets to stick them in to have enough room to flood the plants but I had to put some saucers upside down underneath the Venus fly traps because I have them in kind of short three inch pots so they would be completely drowned if we got a good rain. Um, I also potted up, I got my strawberries through the mail, I accidentally ordered a lot of 25 kind of generic e strawberries and sent them just one plant which fine so I got some strawberry towers. I planted those up Within like three days, those guys were taken off, so I'm excited for all the strawberries I'm gonna eat this year. And I also, uh, the tomatoes were so big, they were taking over the 72 cell tray. Now that I have them out, the chives and the peppers have a little bit more breathing room. And I transplanted them into those pots. I think they're like three and a half inch or something. And that was about, I want to say it was two days ago. Yeah, it's Tuesday, so I did that on Sunday. So they were kind of wilty the first day, but they've perked back up since, and I'm excited. And um, I ordered some more of those white LED panels on Amazon because they worked out so well. So they came in today, but I'm not going to hang them up quite yet. I think I am going to end up putting them over this. But um, I don't know if you can see my hand on this side over here. Those are blisters that popped and finally have regrown skin. 
The one that's on the inside here, still not quite skin yet. It's from um, mowing the entirety of the yard with my little push mower because I hate loud noises and also if we're relegated to staying at home and we're supposed to exercise, that's my exercise. So the yard is mowed, my skin is gone, it's regrowing. Hopefully I can do a lot of this this upcoming weekend. Maybe it'll teach me how to pace myself. Um, and what else? Um, the one seller that I ordered organic potting soil from on Amazon. So one of them, I got something that everybody was saying it's more like a compost that you need to let ferment a little bit longer rather than an organic potting soil, fine. And then I had gotten either four or six compressed peat cocoa peat bales that are supposed to expand a lot which is good because I got those four eight by four foot uh, raised beds so they'll need a lot of soil so I got a lot of 42 cubic foot bags too I'm bad at calculating sizes of things but I know I'll need a lot of bags to fill those raised beds they said they shipped like I want to say two weeks ago and they should have been here last Wednesday and I was talking with them and they kept saying, oh yeah, we'll reach out and we'll figure out where it is. But then they just disappeared. So I just left them a really bad review on Amazon. And if they don't pop back up and tell me something about the shipping status in the next day or two, then I'm going to ask for a refund. And it's not that I really want my money back. I just really want the potting soil so that I have something to grow in because I don't want to have to figure something else out. I mean, I guess I can get um, just generic topsoil because I did get those bags of, oh I shouldn't show you that horrible setup, but at least I put in an extension cord so it's not clotheslining me anymore. Um, so it would have been nice to have that organic potting soil, but I might end up having to get topsoil, although it'll be cheaper and it'll help me save up for that sewer conversion later in the year. But it's good that I'll have that money available now to put in a fence. Um, this might all accidentally work out. It's a little spooky how well it's working out. Um, hopefully that septic uh, to sewer conversion company shows up tomorrow morning too, like they said they would, so that they can uh, tell me where they would propose to run the line. I don't know if they do it underneath my house, like put piping underneath the house and then dig through the front yard to get out to the street to hook up to the sewer or if they'd go around the house, because I get the feeling that they'd go around that side of the house. And that's where I want to put a gate to to get in, because I don't need one on that side. I'd want one on this side where the driveway is. Um, so if they show me roughly where they do that, then I can make sure that I put a big enough gate there that if I, well, when I need to get that work done later in the year, that I won't have to dismantle whatever fence I install in order to do that, which would be good. Um, Here's the herbs and spicy greens. They're coming along well. I have more rosemary that showed up. I don't know if I'm showing you the right things. Um, this is nice basil. I'm excited to eat it. The nepenthes seeds, I think the, um, the one that had a lot of it sprouted last time. This, ooh, now it smells nicely of basil. It still has a lot of them. I don't know if you can see in there so there's still a lot of them in there i think more of them grew in but the rest of them haven't really sprouted yet so i don't know i don't know if i should have them under lights so i have one of them under that light and one of them still on the top of this rack kind of half in the dark um and uh the flower stalk of that rob cantley eye almost started looking like it was gonna split so i put my little step stool here and I stepped up there and I felt the pods and it seems like they're maybe kind of close. Um, so I ordered myself some more milled sphagnum because that's what I used to pot in and some deli containers because um, I was using deli containers from food that I ate from one of the Korean markets from last year. But because I don't foresee myself going to the grocery store anytime in the next couple of months, I'm going to be eating lots of rice and beans. So I just bought the empty deli containers for, I don't think it was too much because I'm a cheapskate, so it probably wasn't too expensive. So I'll be using that to pot those up. And I think that's it. 
I think it was majorly just for the sewer and septic thing that I was waiting with bated breath to figure out what would happen. Okay, back to my regularly scheduled puttering around the plants. Bye.